Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we're going to be looking at how we can design a nameplate that we will be able to set up so that it will 3D print nicely on our Mantis 3D printer. So basically, it's going to have like a base, and then it's going to have our name, but our name is going to be three-dimensional, and I think that's kind of cool. So we're going to go up to create, and we're actually going to choose a box this time, just so that you guys can see, you know, different things sometimes. So we're going to click on a box. And then down here we're going to on, click on this axis, which, if you notice, is in line with the X and Y axis here. So when we rotate this, you'll see there's, there's the X and the Y and the Z. So then our X and Y axis is this one. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to drag it back around. So we're going to click on the origin we're going to draw out a rectangle and we know that our build plate is 200 millimeters wide so I think we're going to make it 150 millimeters wide so we're going to hit 150 and then now that we've typed in that number it won't change no matter where I drag my mouse it's got a little uh, lock there which is nice but we're going to then set this up to be uh, let's say 40 millimeters so we're going to hit tab type in 40 and then hit enter and now we can extrude this as much as we want. I don't think we need anything more than three millimeters of height to be able to successfully 3D print this. So we're going to do that, three millimeters. You may do more, you may do less. It, it all depends on what you're feeling like. So we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to look at this. And you can see here that uh, it's a good plate. So now we need to write our text now you probably won't see text anywhere here because you have to have a sketch first you have to create a sketch before you can actually do text because text is a two-dimensional thing like you can't you can't draw a box or a circle you can draw three-dimensional objects here but you need to be in the uh, sketch folder before we can do that so we need to click on create a sketch and we're just gonna click on the top of our little base Okay, so we don't want our text this way, so we're, I'm just going to rotate this. And now this is a good orientation. So here, now we've got all of our two-dimensional tools because we are under the sketch tab. So we're going to go down here and we're going to find text. We're going to click on that. And we're just going to choose somewhere like here to start. We're going to name it Stevie Burton. And then we can rotate our text right here because this is just our, our beginning point and it will always be there. Did I write my name right? Yes, I did. We can also move this around if we want to, but I'm just going to leave it here for a moment. And uh, we need to adjust our height because we don't want such a tiny name. So let's see. 20. Oh, that's too big. Well, no, actually, that's not too bad. That's 25. Ooh, 25 is too big. 23? 23 is good. So we'll just kind of get it till it's kind of in the middle. I don't believe there's any way that you can actually do this, like to center it, unless we draw out some lines and uh, and then just eyeball it from there again. Um, but we'll just... It's nothing super accurate. It's just kind of for fun. So we're just going to put it in the middle as best as we can. And that looks pretty good. If you look at the outline here so you've got one and a half boxes it looks like here and about one and a half boxes there and um, yeah that looks pretty decent so we're just going to hit OK and then we're going to hit finish sketch now I want to extrude this so that the name is coming out of the box but I don't want to just extrude it like normal I, I want to curve it so that way when it's sitting on a flat desk somebody who walks over can see it coming out like towards them so we're going to create we're going to actually use the sweep function here however first we need to define a path for it to sweep along so we're going to create another sketch here and if we orbit just a little bit we can click on this side here because we're gonna sketch on this side so we're gonna scroll in a bit and we're going to use a three-point arc to define the path that we're going to have this go along. 
And so we're going to choose our arc and then three point arc. We're just gonna click here and then somewhere up here and then just make it a nice curve. Okay. And now we're just gonna hit finish sketch. That's all we have to do with that. It, it really, uh, we don't have to worry too much about what we're doing because we will be able to change it later and I'll show you how to do that. So we hit finish sketch and now we're going to scroll out again and we're going to go to create once more and we're going to find that sweep button and we're going to click it's asking for a profile so that profile is actually our text here so we're going to click on any of the letters because it is one single thing um, any as long as we click on one of them it selects all of them so now we've selected our profile and we're going to select we're going to click on path here and we're going to select our path and now there we go look at that that's kind of cool however that to me looks a little difficult to print so the problem with uh, printing anything over a 45 degree angle which i know this this is probably not 45 degrees yet is it becomes very difficult for the printer because then it, it starts to print and then it sags and then layers will be lost. So we ad we just have to keep that in mind if we don't want to print with supports. So we're just going to decrease that angle just a little bit because this distance right here that actually tells you how far along this path the text follows. So this is from 1 to 0. This is, It's like a percentage really. Uh, like 1 being 100%. So we could type that in, but instead of that, I'm just going to select this little path sweep thingy here. Uh, and that'll make it a little bit easier. I like I like the visual of it. Oh, it's really making my computer chug there. How's that look? That looks a little bit better. That, no, that actually might be like a 45 there. So we're just going to decrease it. Let's say uh, that's 0.82. Let's do 0.75. That's just a little bit better. And that looks like our printer should be able to handle that with no problem. Good. So now we've got our nameplate and we're just going to hit OK. OK. There it goes. So that looks pretty perfect to me. Now, if we wanted to change anything, it's pretty simple. We can go down here to the uh, timeline. And our timeline will be able to will allow us to change any aspect of this that we want. So we we want to change. We want to go back here. We can change the size of our text. We can change its position and everything. We can even go back here to our little. Um, let's finish sketch so it saves. Let's go back to our arc. So let's say we wanted a, a sharper arc, right? We can just drag this as much as we want. Hit finish. And then now you'll see that's a much steeper arc than it was before. Before it was like like here. But because that's going to be harder to print, we're just going to go back here. And we're going to make it a lot more shallow. And then hit finish sketch once more. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. So now we will finalize this. Just make it look a little bit nicer. We're going to go up here and we're going to find our chamfer. Okay. Click there and then we're just going to choose our edges on each corner here. Just to make this look a little bit nicer. And then our distance, we just kind of want to play around with this, see how much we want to chamfer it. Ooh, that looks cool. See, it's cutting out. I think three millimeters is good. Have like a nice sweeping up plate type thing. And that looks pretty centered front to back here. And I know for a fact that when we looked at it before, side to side looks good. So I don't think we have to adjust the position of the text either. So I think that's pretty perfect there. So now we're going to save this as an STL so that we can directly print this on our Mantis 3D printer. So we're going to go up here to this unsaved. We're going to right click on it and we're going to click on save as STL and format binary preview mesh we don't really need to preview it um, but see there's a lot of triangles so that's at medium settings we could go low which would make it a little bit 
easier to print um, a smaller file really but I think medium should be okay we're not sending it to any 3d print utility and we're not going to really care about this stuff right here all we really need to know is that we're just gonna do this we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna choose where we're gonna save it so we're just gonna name this Stevie name plate and we're just gonna hit save all right and now we have saved this as an STL we can actually look at it in the uh, regular Microsoft viewer so we'll find it real quick so just double clicking on it we've got our print 3d and that looks pretty cool print 3d <laughs> estimating this at $15 it's not gonna cost $15 this is the weirdest little program it's awesome because you can see everything really nicely it's very smooth and it it's a great way to preview your STL files but don't believe that cost so let's print it on our mantis 3d printer so first we're going to go up here and find oh, what printer do we want to use. We will use 16. Actually we'll use 3. I like 3 uh, has got a nice color on it right now. If using 360 of course being an internet pro program we won't be able to use it for the time being. But once this is connected we'll go to it on our website. So now we're connected to our Mantis 3. Uh, three. We're just going to type in our 192. 192.168.4.1 and then we're going to select our file choose our nameplate and click print and now the upload is complete it is going to be preparing the file by slicing it using its uh, Raspberry Pi that's on board and then it will finalize it and start to print all automatically so we don't have to worry about it so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if this helped you out. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys would like to see next time. And we'll see you in the next video.